Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Or back in Rods. Um, I think while we're here, what we'll do is we'll go to the gunsmith. I want to see if we can um, clean our gun, maybe. Long time ago. Um, and see what the gunsmith says when we go in. Because uh, we haven't spoken to the gunsmith. Looks like we've got a stranger over here as well. We can grab that while we're here. And the gunsmith's just down here anyway. We'll uh, just cut through here. And the gunsmith's out uh, right here. something from the store whatever you want it's on me <laughs> okay appreciate it having conquered evil the way i have it's the least a humble man can do thank you yeah well you're humble all right it's about time i spread this good word yeah yeah who else will teach us sinners if not you So there you go. Um, we actually managed to get something for free in the um, in the general store in this one. In the last town it was um, something free in the gunsmith. Uh, this one it is something free in the general store. In the last time was bad enough. You best got it all out of your system. All right. What do you want? Um, let's customize. So, oh yeah, so what we can do is we can actually um, set stuff up here as well, So, which is good. So, we've got this one here. Um, double action revolver. And we've got that on us at the minute. Um, what about our thing here? Um... I'm quite skilled in customization. Make your munitions yours. Uh, let's clean it. Components, barrel. I can put some sats on that if you're interested. That uh, rifling would be good. I think some upgraded rifling will increase the range a bit. Um, sure, why not? This is a gun we're going to be using a lot of. I think it's uh, probably best. Um, improve sights. What does that help? It increases our accuracy. That will yes, help, please. I'm sure. Scope. Do we want to scope on it? Mm, not really. It's just really a looks thing. Uh, no. Does this do? Doesn't really do anything. That could really shine with some carbon in it. We could make it nice gold. Sure, why not? Eleven dollars. Engravings we can put on. Listen, you won't take all day, will you? Put that on there. We're not really going to, though. A nice varnish. Ooh, actually, can we change the varnish to be a bit darker? Ooh, I might like that. No, I sort of like this the most, I think. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's have a look at one of my double action revolvers. Um, you need to let's clean your give weapon. it a bit of a Surprise clean. It still fires. Components. Got rip. some nice parts for that gun, you know. It's got a pearl grip on it. 
Wow. Leave the pearl grip on for now, I think. Let's do barrel. Guess it's got a long barrel on it currently. That uh, helps our accuracy. Rifling. Uh, it's got no rifling on it. I um, think we rifle on for range. Right? Iron sights. Improved. Yeah. You'll appreciate the improvement. Oh, there we go. We got an achievement. Wow. Okay, I wasn't expecting to get many achievements for this game. Um, styles. Materials and grid. Yeah, we, I think we're just going to leave it the way it is. Ammunition. I uh, will leave that the way it is as well. Forgot that we got the ammunition for it. Um. Interested in engraving some? Make that weapon your own. I think I'm happy with everything there now, to be fair. We've done a bit of customization, which was nice. Alright. We're out of here. Thank you. Uh, is that what offhand there? No. Um actually while we're here, I think what we can do is we can actually um actually equip our offhand as well. Um, there we go. We've got our offhand there as well. well all right, then. Just in case we need two pistols for something. Sometimes it's useful. So we have um, a mission over here. We have two missions back in camp. I think we go back and do those, I think. Uh, then we'll come over here and do these. Um, but I think what we'll do is we'll grab this stranger mission, which is uh, just down the road here. Then we'll head back to camp and go grab another mission, I think. You okay there, mister? You need me to move. Move? I am. I'm sitting in the wrong place. Excuse me? No, I didn't mean any offense, sir. Please. I don't get your meaning. I'm very sorry, sir. You have yourself a fine day, and I apologize for any offense I may have inadvertently caused. What are you drinking, mister? Nothing, sir. Nothing at all. Why are you acting so strange? I don't mean to. I'm sorry for any offense. How could you have offended me? I have no idea. But I had no idea how I offended the last fellas. And they stole my wagon on account of my impudence. Stole your wagon for back check? Mm, they didn't like my medical practice, I suppose. I was helping folk. And that wasn't popular? I was undercutting the competition. Or I was too colored. Or I was irritating in nature. Or I was some know-it-all big city slicker here to demean some good old boys of my fine words. The exact variety of my sins was the source of some conjecture, so they undercut me. That ain't very nice. That was my impression. Still, compared to the gutting, castration, defenestration, and crucifixion they offered me, I felt I got off lightly. Imaginative bunch. <laughs> yes. But no great love of my medical practice. Too free with my wisdom and services. Which way they go? Down the road, that away. Stay here. I'm sort of forced to. Please don't go to any trouble on my account. Mm hmm. Are you looking for that fella's wagon? I am. I heard him say they was taking it to Macomb's Inn. Okay, thanks. Yep, there we go, we've got a waypoint. Let's go, girl. Let's go. Another thing I haven't done is I haven't bought like an upgrade satchel or anything yet. That might be on our to get list. 
can't remember if we unlock it eventually or not. I think we do. Might be in a fence we get it though, yeah. instead of uh, something else. Like general store or something. Anyway, how far are we going? Okay, yeah, we're going to Wiz, but not too far away. Do we still have, um... This. Just want to make sure that that's ready to go if we need it. I think I'm starting to get used to the camera being a bit more zoomed in here. I think, um, I don't know what I like best. I don't know if I like it zoomed in or zoomed out. Um, if you guys let me know how you just like it. I've left it for a few episodes now, so... Hopefully you guys will let me know what you think. If I should keep it on this or not. I like it, though. I think. I'm not sure. I'm trying to turn off the, um, the minimap as much as I can as well. The only thing is some of my cores and stuff like that hide behind something I have in between me and uh, the bottom left corner of my telly. <laughs> I think we're just about here. We're just letting the core for this horse uh, regen. I think it'll get better as um, our bonding gets better as well. I'm sure we've been here before. I've been close to this place before, I think. I didn't mean to pick him up. I was going to loot. This drops my, um... Oh no, I'm going to be a bit peeved. Nope, we're good. Okay. They shot at me, so hey-ho. Wasn't that many of them, though. Not exactly sure what we're searching for currently. Probably that. Didn't see much of anything else. Um, the loot, that is. I want to see if there's out else to loot before we uh, go. No. Let's go get the wagon. Let's go take it back to him. Okay, come on. Get you back to the doctor. Yep. Yep, don't mind me. I'm just going to run over you as we leave. My horse should follow me. Yeah, she is. Good. What's that, Dr. A. Reynolds? Yeah. I think that is.
God damn it. I'm just gonna pull this out just in case. Is he gonna attempt to shoot me now? My health needs to regen there just a little bit. My dead eyes running a little low. Probably need to eat again. Oh my god. We're gonna get two wagons past here. I don't need no new friends on the road. Get lost. We're just trying to get my wagon around your wagon. That is all. Just to, um... Uh, it's cooked. Sure. There we go. There we go. That should help us get, um, over them back up again. Let me get through. Should help our dead eye out of it as well. Hopefully. That's what I'm hoping for. This guy will be incredibly excited to see this start going around the corner and heading towards him. <laughs> that would be. Uh, you know this shutter, don't you? Oh my! Well, look who it is! I did not count on seeing that wagon again. No, you for that matter. Only people you won't be seeing are the folks who took it. Uh, I take it they aren't the only ignorant bullying clod hoppers in these parts. But I can live in glorious hope. Ah, it wasn't a trouble now, was it? No, it was a pleasure. Well, let me give you something for your pleasure. Ah, what we got here. Ah, how about this? Provide a man a tincture, he'll be well for a day. Teach him to make one, he might be well a while longer. Well, I'll make sure to try and make this. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It won't work for anything chronic, but you may not need it to. Well, if you see me on my travels and you're in need of something, make sure you come and say hello. Travel safe now. There we go, we gained something out of that. Not bad. Personal health cure as well. Awesome. So, I think what we do is... Where's my horse? Ah, she uh, literally arrives on a whistle, which is good. Even though she's not 100%, like, uh, she's not even level 2 yet. Um, like, horse bonding. I think, uh, yeah, she's still on level 1. Just need to make sure that we, you know, give her a good pat from time to time and a good um, brush and stuff. Make sure that we um, get these claws up and everything. That will give her a bit of a brush. Give her a bit of a clean. Coat's oh, looking a little dirty. There we go. Right, so uh, we currently have a mission over here and a mission over here. Um, I think we head back to camp and maybe maybe have a chat with this one. I think. I think it might be a good choice just for now. I don't really want to do too many of a mission. I don't think we've got any side missions I really want to do currently. Like yeah, we do have some in our pocket which uh, I need to go do, but I think for now. Pretty good, actually. I'm trying not to progress too quickly. 
I'm also trying to, um... I'm trying to get our, like, horse bonding up. the hell was that all about? I go to any guns where to buy the um, equipment where you can hold more ammunition complete challenges to allow you to upgrade them. Right, I'm not sure if um, looting these guys is going to give us like Bad rep. Nope. Guess if they attack you, you don't get bad rep. I'll put these like rings and stuff inside of the um the chest and the camp. There's one more over here. Screw you guys. Seriously. I think I missed this guy. Right, okay, yeah, we're not gonna loot him just because that person's now there. I think if they see us um, loot, they'll um, report us and we can potentially have. Uh, can be bad. Why is it always right when we're near camp too? I always get shot at. Anyway, our guns seem to handle the situation fairly well. It's me. me. Earth. You can tell me. Jinx. Yeah. Just said the same thing as Arthur. <laughs> anyway, let's try and get this other gun which is on our back off. Um, because I don't really need it. Our horse is good here. Um, weapons lock up. Evelyn Miller, of course. <laughs> that old windbag. Tell him about Evelyn Miller, Arthur. Mostly goes over my head, Dutch. <laughs> and Mike is even dumber than me. Real funny, Arthur. He's no windbag, son. He is a, a seer. He sees things that we don't know yet. I, I know. I'm just teasing. You're just afraid of opening your mind because you might not like what you find. You're probably right. You know... You know, you always had the most incredible way of putting things. Mr. Miller has a way of putting things. Me, I'm, I'm just an old outlaw, not prepared to go quietly. Oh, you're more than that, Dutch. You're... You're... Well, you're amazing. He's definitely sucking up for some strange reason. What an absolute suck up. What the hell is up with him? He must be after something. Yeah. Slimy bootlicker. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Alright then. Right, so who did I say we were gonna go and have a mission with? Um, I'm thinking over here. Big T. 
over here. <laughs> Mr. T over here. See what this person's got for us anyway. Not sure who it is. I'll find out. Is it the person we just rescued uh, previously? I think it is. Why? Well, I know you think it is. I'm just some effete buffoon. A what? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've I found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. I would have even thought. Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. Oh. I uh, had to pick up my controller there. <laughs> Alright, let's head on out then. So where do we find this friend of yours? Roads! Because what can possibly go wrong there? Well, lead the way and we'll find out. We seem you to be sure spending a lot of time. Around here? You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats? Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. I've done my part. Each to their strength, dear boy. You know, you boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. This is a small town. People talk. I tried to mention it to Osea, but you know how he is. Anyway, while they're off chasing their pot of Confederate gold hidden at the end of some rainbow, let me present you with something real. So, where exactly are we going? Here we are. We can hitch up outside. I'll make the introductions, Arthur. Uh, what I was trying to say is, um, we seem to be going backwards and forwards Shit. between our camp and roads a lot. Um, but there we go. There, our horse is also now level two uh, in Bondon, which is good. Um, she's getting up there now. She will eventually be like maxed out. Come on, hang back a bit and let me do the talking. We don't want to scare him off. All right. I do like the name of our horse as well. I named her something nice. Where the hell's he going? Can you believe I just heard one of them demand an equal treatment to us whites? Hello, Alden. Hello, Josiah. How have you been? Dandy. And you, friend? Uh, like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. They often are. But how's work, Alden? Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The witness of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. Do I? Here. Ain't you kind, sir? Call him Arthur. He's one of us. 
a fellow man of distinction. Okay, well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there, feller called Hector. He's also one of the, what did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it, discouraged men. I like that. Well, goodbye, Alden, or should I say, adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what? What the hell was that? <laughs> I thought you might like to see that pantomime. River Road through Siltwater Strand, he said. Okay. I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. You guys got one of those ding dong things where you put in your mouth. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> Okay, let's go. This way. Let's go. It looks like we can go to Strawberry and he has um, some for us as well. Which is what interesting. What did I tell you? Simple as can be. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. Earning a pittance. The unions are whipping them up. So they want something on the side. Like he said, there, Strawberry. Could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back to Strawberry after all that market business. Didn't sound like you left anyone alive to recognize you, so I wouldn't worry too much, dear boy. We've all been this back. trouble. You gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. We're hoping to be long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. If anything goes wrong, let's meet back here at this crossroad, okay? Alright. We've also been back to Valentine as well, which I thought we wouldn't be welcome back for a while. At this crossroad he's on about, probably. Here we are. This is the spot. Okay, this should do. Sure. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Uh, better safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. Huh. And I can nice. do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, Alden. Very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. There it is. Right on time. Let's go. Keep your distance so they don't see you. And... Please leave that gun in its holster for once. All right, I'll let him go ahead, and I will. Um... I will um... sort of sneak around the back. I'll ride ahead and get the coach to stop. You hang back. Don't let them spot you, or you'll scupper the whole thing. Yep. No, 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 no. I hope you don't mind my singing. Not at all. I'm preparing to a show. It's a free country. <laughs> Did you say a show? <laughs> it's a small benefit. Blackwater. Did you see? Mrs. Chester Damson. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I flatten nobody. Just stop the torch, my good man! Stop the torch! Okay, yeah, so we're going to stop the coach. He's going to put on some bad singing, and we're going to sneak up behind. Samson, you owe it to West Elizabeth. Okay. There is a one guy kicking around somewhere. Down the road on the left. Oh, God, I We should move the roads. It is safe. My good man, they're perfectly safe. Can we go, please? I got a train to catch. Oh, would you be quiet, you horrible little man? One more time from the top. Madam, I've heard enough. Might I have your card? The event is on the 23rd of this month. I can't say enough about Mrs. Damson. Magnifico. So sorry, gentlemen, for the interruption. Farewell. Right, we get back on our horse. We've got a little That's bit of cash. Cool, Can't remember how much we made from it, but that was easy enough, though. Nicely done, Arthur. A little finesse for once. You think? Well done, sir. Well done. It was easy. You did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's always good. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur. All right, so there we go. We made actually quite a bit of money there. Uh, your share was like 200 and some odd dollars, which is not bad. So we've got some money, more, more money for camp. We just itch me nose. Um, I think what we'll do now, though, is um, we will head back to camp. We've got one more mission over there in camp, but I think by the time we get back, it'll be a good place to end the episode. I think. Or, or record, or this recording session, I should say. Got any more opera singers for me to rob? Mr. Morgan. <laughs> For whatever reason, I can't actually go any faster than this. Right, he goes off that way, we go off this way. I think we're in like a bit of a, like a convoy situation. Wow, it's like 22 degrees where we're at now on roads. Nice and toasty warm. I think as well now, we, um, we actually have our claws which we can switch to. Just double checking to see if we can now. Can we switch? Custom 2. You can't do time while your horse is moving. Oh. Easy, easy. 
There we go. It's good to know that we can do that now, so if we ever go into a cold climate, we actually have cold climate clothes. Better than not having cold climate clothes, because trust me, that drained our health quite a bit just coming again this horse. I think we need to go buy some more clothes anyway. I think uh, some of the clothes we have, yeah, they're good and stuff, but I really want to buy some different clothes and different outfits. Set, set a couple more up, maybe. And we can have a couple more outfits as well on our horse, so... Yeah. I think if we ever get wanted and stuff like that, we can actually quickly change clothes. I think it helps us not get, like, sort of seen and wanted as quick. It's me, Carl. It's me. Looks like Charles is on um, watch duty. And it looks like we made it back just in time for sunset. Camp funds are reasonable. Alright, simmer down. Right, the horse went a little bit too far. Can we? Yep. There we go. Where's she going? Come back. Anyway, she's level two now in Bondon, uh, which is good. Um, but I think this is probably one of the best places we're going to end this episode. Um, Arthur. Stay away from me. Where's Uncle oh, One? That's exactly what I'm afraid of. Oh, it's a goodie, I'm telling you. <laughs> it always is with you. Then we end up hidden in a burning barn getting shot at. You're a sad man, Arthur Morgan. Sad man indeed. All right, well, I should be getting on. Yep. yep. All right. Okay. Well, this is a lovely sunset, I think. Um, just turn off the radar, let's make it a little bit more picturesque. And uh, yeah, I think this is actually a good place to end this one here. We've done quite a lot. We got ourselves a new horse at the beginning of the um, at the beginning of this recording session, um, beginning of the week. Um, we now got it to bond on level two with us, so it's halfway like fully bonded uh, to us. Um, our old horse which we were using just got up to level four not too long ago um so once it hits like level three we're, we're right on track but um yeah maybe we might go out and grab a couple more horses here and there and everywhere as well um just maybe just grab them and have them type of thing uh, there's a couple of horses i can think of we can go get we can probably maybe sell our free horse um which we had i think that was a, like a pre-order bonus i think um, back when uh, I pre-ordered the game like over four years ago but uh, yeah hopefully you guys have enjoyed the series and everything so far if you guys are enjoying the series please do hit the like button if you aren't dislike buttons right next door and subscribe if you guys haven't already but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end this one right here thank you guys so much for watching now hopefully catch you guys all Mr. Morgan, in the next one I feel I made a bit of a fool of myself again uh, we've all done it and you saved my life again well, maybe one day you'll save mine. Or my soul. <laughs> yeah, I'd like that. Don't make fun of me. Oh, I'm sorry. Anyway, it wasn't a complete waste of time. I stole this from one of those awful men. You should have it. Okay. Thank you. Why are you going with but it? You were blind drunk. I was drunk, but I never forget my manners. Be well, Mr. Morgan. Thank you, Reverend. You be well, too. I'll try. So, before I was uh, a bit rudely interrupted, I will now go ahead and end the video right here. Thank you guys again so much for watching, and I hope to get you guys all in the next one. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, Mark?